All right, welcome back to another video. If you watch some of my other videos, you will have noticed most of them have been everyday carry videos. So today is gonna be a watch video. It's a great little thing to add to your everyday carry if you don't have one already. Uh, of course, there is a separate community on its own just of watch collectors. Um, but I would say, I wouldn't say I'm, I'm fairly new to watches. Uh, you know, I don't have many, but I did want to share the two or my two most worn watches uh, within the past month. They both happen to be made by Casio. One is a G-Shock and one is just has the Casio branding on it. So, um, yeah, I'm not saying these are the best watches. I'm not saying you should get these watches. It's really just up to your personal taste and preference. They're both. Uh, well, they're actually quite different uh, in terms of shape, size, and, uh, and style. But yeah, so without further ado, we'll start off with the first one here. And the first one is a Casio vintage watch. Or it's not really a vintage, it's just, you know, it's their uh, series or their line. I'll give you the exact model number. It's the A168WE. Now this is a gold, uh, gold-bodied watch with a black uh, meta metal not metallic it's a uh, a black band bracelet i guess uh, you can adjust it by yourself which is probably one of the best features of it you don't really have to mess around with links or anything you just unhinge it uh, where the buckle is and move it to your desired length which is pretty cool this one like i said it's the more flashy out of the two of course it's gold they have a few other models they have a silver one uh, all really rocking the same design, the same uh, backlight as well. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up. Not really, but yeah, there's a, a great backlight on it. It's digital, and I've seen people wear it with suits, but it is more of a casual watch, I would say. Um, doesn't always go with everything because it is black on gold, so you'll, you'll want to be careful with what other colors you wear it with. You know, if you're wearing white or black, uh, a white or black shirt, It'll definitely go with it because, you know, it's just minimal colors. Uh, but yeah, I like this one because it's small. It's uh, lighter than you would expect. And it's just, it's got like a timeless design, I would say. It's very, you know, vintage. That's that's the name of, that's the name of the game there. That's, that's their line. So I'm sure some of you uh, have heard of this, seen of this. The most popular being the all gold one. I decided on this uh, two-tone uh black and gold one because I just liked the uh, contrast between the black and the gold so yeah you can find this I think on Amazon um, and just any watch store should have it but I have seen them going out of stock recently so if you're interested you might want to get them as soon as possible now the next one like I said is a G-Shock this is the Casio in black you've probably seen this around it's a fairly popular watch probably one of the most popular G-Shocks that they have out right now. This one was also pretty hard to find. I don't know why, but they have been selling like crazy recently. Maybe it's just cause you know, people want to get, or people have been discovering uh, this particular watch. I don't know, I saw them a lot on Instagram um, before I actually got this. I think that's maybe what influenced me to get one, but I do really, really like it. It's yet sporty and yet also, casual at the same time it's digital and analog so whatever you want you got it you can tell time however you want uh, there is a newer version which was sold out basically everywhere it's the clear resin one it's uh, basically just a see-through watch the strap everything you could see through it it's really cool but I went for the black one for two reasons firstly I couldn't find the clear one so I looked at the black one. And secondly, I decided that the clear one didn't really go with many outfits and the black one would go with much more. So it's got a black face and a black case and a black band, of course. Uh, it's a G-Shock, so basically won't break on you. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's not really much more to say about it. I think that's about it. But yeah, uh, I've been a really big fan of Casio when it comes to uh, quality and affordability. They do have this vintage watch or some of the Casio vintage ones under $50. Uh, the only difference is that the backlight will be a little bit, 
inferior to this one. This one lights up the whole back, whereas I believe the, the, the ones under $50 will have just a little light on the side. It'll be really bad, but you get what you pay for, really. Uh, but if it's a good entry level watch, I would say. So if you're interested in this one, you may want to get uh, the cheaper, I think it's a silver one that's under $50. Easily found on Amazon if you're interested in that. Um, but yeah, that, this was just a quick video I wanted to make showcasing both. And I'll leave some links in the description as to where you can get some. Like I said, I did see these going out of stock quite a bit recently. So that's why I'll try to leave some links for you guys. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, uh, like the video. If you really liked it and want to see more, subscribe. So it lets me know that I should keep posting. Thanks for watching. Peace out.